Hello everyone, I'm Mingdi, Product Manager at Axgrades. Since we launched the Podocan, we've been thrilled by excitement and feedback from creators worldwide. We're happy to see more and more people are adopting 3 d sense spotting for reality capture. Many of us may start from 360 cameras or DSLR. But after several trials, you may find it's really painful. Lots of trial and errors, switching from one software to another tool, even with coding, you still don't get the results you hoped for. I've been there. That's why we created Potocam, the world's first true spatial camera. It's built to make 3D capture as easy as taking a photo, while delivering better quality, higher efficiency, and truly usable models. And today, I just want to share that with you, what makes Potocam's experience different from existing cameras for 3DS. We will compare it from four aspects, quality, accessibility, efficiency, and real-world applications, which matters most for reality capture. Let's dive in. When it comes to model quality, three things matter. It needs to look real, measure accurately, and stay complete. This is exactly where vision-only methods struggle, because they rely entirely on color and texture to guess geometry. They lack true geometric accuracy, and since they capture everything in sight, unwanted elements like moving people and cars might lead ghosting or artifact trails in model. Distortion is another big issue, especially with panoramic cameras. In challenging conditions like low light, weak textures, or complex surfaces, purely visual methods often fail to reconstruct it properly. You will see holes, fragmented meshes, and unstable alignment across the scene. In large-scale spaces, the results can easily fall apart with misalignment blocks and inconsistent depth. Portocan solves this at a hardware level. It contains LiDAR and a full camera array. With SLAM running consistently, it knows exactly where it is in space at every frame, capturing everything with real-world scale and perfect alignment. As a result, it delivers centimeter-level accuracy and consistently stable models. And because it's part of s ecosystem, LCC Studio automatically corrects distortion and removes dynamic objects. What you get is a clean, precise, production-ready 3D Gaussian splatting model. Let's take a look at what Potocan can really do. Where Protocan stands out is simplicity. You don't need to sit through weeks of training to be a certified pro. New users can learn the full workflow in 5 minutes. For panoramic and DSLR setups, there is no standardized 3DGS workflow. You'll end up jungling multiple pieces of technology for image processing, alignment, and reconstruction. It's clunky, confusing, and time-consuming. We found a designer to test the process. He spent two weeks experimenting with these workflows. The result? Still support. The price of Photocam is comparable to a DSLR camera, affordable for professional teams and individual creators. So here's what makes this remarkable. All that simplicity, all that time saved, all that accessibility at fair price. Professional capability without professional complexity. To test efficiency, we capture the same location with different devices, aiming for comparable output quality. Even after two weeks of testing, models from paranormal cameras and DSLRs still fell short. Here's the breakdown. For a 1,200 square meter outdoor scene, 
Porter can't finish the scan in just 15 minutes, and LCC Studio handle the rest. Fully automated, no manual intervention. About four hours later, you have a model ready to go. The panoramic camera took around 20 minutes to capture the same space, but it required nearly 12 hours of post-processing. Extracting frames, slicing panoramas, aligning images, all by hand. Even then, you lost the texture and the clarity. Then, there's the DSLR. Our capture took about 43 minutes. With its narrow field of view, you have to shoot from countless angles just to cover the scene. It's easy to miss the spots or overlap shoots, which means much time fixing the things later. It also requires a lot of manual post-processing with a total workflow time of 6 hours and 43 minutes. And the model came out less complete with noticeable holes and fragmentation. It performed poorly with larger or more complex environments. We tried extending the capture time to get more input, but the result didn't really improve. The test shows that Podokan doesn't just save time, it delivers better results, faster with less effort. A 3D model shouldn't just look good, it needs to be usable and compatible across pipelines. Models generated with panoramic cameras or DSLRs usually stop at a visual presentation. They are fine for virtual tools and visual effects, but because they lack accurate geometry, you can't go deeper with them. PhotoCam changes that. Its model combines photorealistic visual with high-precision spatial structures and even include built-in meshes for collision detection and physical interaction. They also carry semantic information, making them compatible with AI simulation and training workflows. Over proprietary LCC format further optimized models, dramatically reducing the size compared to open source pipelines, making models easier to store, transfer, and load across devices. And because the workflow is both fast and robust, Porto can adapt seamlessly to diverse industry, from real estate tools, film production, and virtual tourism to gaming, VR, AR, and beyond. We built PortalCam because spatial capture shouldn't require weeks of training or days of post-processing. Hours to process, not days. Minutes to learn, not weeks. Models that deliver both accuracy and photorealism, no compromise needed. This is what makes 3D content creation accessible, not just for specialists, but for every creator and team ready to work in spatial. Have questions about PortalCam? Let us know in the command area. Even better, tell us what you are planning to create. Thanks for watching and see you next time.